Okay, so uh, today we're going to try to figure out what's going on with this cable and battery thing. So after testing the original cable that came uh, with the AccuCell charger to charge the battery, uh, it wasn't working. So I ordered a set of new cables. So uh, this is one of the new cables here. So here I'm going to test it. Um, so negative, positive, and as usual, nothing comes through. So if I unplug the, uh, the positive, I can even leave the negative here. If I unplug the positive and measure using here from the source and then using the cable, then I get a voltage. Um, obviously the voltage is very low so that's another problem I had so anyway from this battery for some reason uh, it looks like I cannot read voltage through the cable even using new cables uh, meanwhile when I tried using this battery um, I used it with my radio which is a FT817 uh, it uses about uh, 5 watt max power and uh, basically it worked for a few minutes and then all, all of a sudden the radio shut down and uh, when I checked the battery voltage the the cells the voltage for the cells so the battery overall the voltage was really low so it went from 13 something to like six volts like I don't know what the hell happened and then uh, also when I checked each cell individually like uh, some of them were at 1.8 volts and some of them were at 0 0.4 volts so something crazy happened and then I realized that the the battery now has a bit of a a bit of a bulge to it so so something wrong happened with the battery and the fact that the voltage on the plus side cannot get through the cable uh, originally I thought it was the cables but even with new cables it's the same problem so for example <coughs> this was the original cable and this this is one of the new cables I tested and so something happened with the battery. Now, if I put it in the AccuCell to try to read the voltage, let's try. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's. Uh, well, it's not going to read anything because I need this cable to plug it into the AccuCell. So it's going to read zero unless I try to use some, some other cables to try to get around that problem. It's not pretty, but that's the best I can do. Painful. Negative. And negative. So let's see. Stop uh, battery meter. Zero volts. 
Zero volts, zero volts, zero volts. Uh, I probably need to stick that one in, I guess, as well. Yeah. So, even with these cables, can't read anything. And here, if I forward, it says I have 6.25 volts, but it can't read each individual cell. It can't read the voltage for each individual cells. So that's it for that. Okay. Now, Let's try the other tool. Which is this one, which is a little bit easier. And last time I checked, it could actually read each individual cell's voltage. So, uh, enter battery checker. It's uh, life. Okay. Now, obviously, the it, this one can read the cells individually. So, one point three one seven, one point four two, one point three five, one point eight. So the uh, difference in voltage between the cells is huge as well. Uh, one of them, or at least three of them with the other. Well, actually pretty much all of them. And uh, the total voltage here indicated is 5.8 volts. So, uh, basically, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why when I was plugged into my radio, I wasn't even transmitting or anything, so there was no power surge. Uh, it just shut down and the battery just uh, just uh, stopped working and its voltage dropped below its usable voltage so it's not usable anymore and uh, obviously now I can feel there's a bulge here with battery so something something happened I don't know what uh, but uh, obviously uh, this battery is, is a gun case. Now the weird thing is originally I thought I had a cable problem and uh, which is why Hobby King uh, kindly uh, gave me a refund and allowed me to get new cables but uh, it looks like the reason why I couldn't through the vault read the voltage on the plus side was uh, probably there was something wrong with the battery to start with and the cable was actually fine because there's no way I would have the same problem with multiple cables so here we are uh, the battery just uh, gave up on me for no reason the first time I tried to use it maybe after 10 minutes so uh, yeah I don't know what to do so you guys can have a look at the video and uh, get back to me thanks